Good morning. Um, well, it is for me anyway. Uh, today we are going to do one of the animal postcards. And I'm starting off by doing a flamingo. This is an unsplash picture. And I will put the link below to that picture so that you can find it for yourselves. I think I'm just going to be using this a Skoda size 8 it's got a really nice point on it so I'm hoping I can do some of the finer detail but I'm going to start off by doing the blue background and looking at it I think that the color that's going to work well these are my Michael Harding paints I think I'm going to use this vivid blue as it's called so let's start off by adding a bit of water to that and it says I can get my arm in let's start off with our background here And we are going to have to go quite carefully around everything. Which is going to be quite difficult when it comes to the legs. Um, I think I'll just ignore that bit at the bottom where I was trying to show that I'm going to do a shadow. Um, Let's just paint this. This is a gorgeous colour, isn't it? It's just a happy colour, I well, I think, anyway. I don't really know what other colour would be the same in a different range. I don't think I know of another colour that is quite like this one. If you do, put it in the comments below. Right, let's just try and get in here. It's quite, quite tricky. Okay. Let's get round this wing. we're getting there aren't we this is really you know when it comes to fine detailed stuff it just really holds our attention rather nicely so it's a very mindful activity sort those actually let's just because that was shadow really there we go let's just pop that like so and we have our blue outline which we will need to dry so we're just going to need to um, pause for a moment I'll be back in two ticks though as far as you're concerned and we'll let that dry so that's yep that's pretty much dry now so let me 
see what colour we are going to use for our flamingo. Do I get the black bits in first or the pinky bits in first? Let's do the pink legs first. And I'm going to use, although this is my Michael Harding palette, this colour here is Brilliant Rose. And it's a whole buying colour. And I'm actually going to use that for the legs. Get those legs in. Because they kind of stand out as being quite bright. Okay, so we've got our legs in, and then I think, well, I need a bit of space on, oh, I'll tell you what, let's just take that palette out, and then we've got plenty of space. Right, let's make a more, I don't know, salmon-y colour, if we can, by adding some buff titanium to the Brilliant Rose. No, nope, that's not orangey enough. Okay, let's add, what should we add to that? We need a little bit of yellow, don't we? Okay, so this is Ochre Islay Lemon, or it's Lemon Ochre, basically. I'm going to add a bit of that. But that's, I think we need a bit more because it's not orangey enough and that's that's looking a little bit more like it isn't it do I need to brighten it up a bit let's just add some of the ooh, warm white to that and see if we can yes now we're now it's looking a lot better Okay, so let us get in these pinky bits, salmon-y pinky bits. There. And I might add the, the white bits later. It's quite white under there and there. This is all, this lovely pinky colour. Come around here. Like so, and we've got just a little bit of the pink showing in there, haven't we? Let's just bring that around a bit more. And then we, we have got some slightly darker bits, so I think I'm going to bring in some of that more pinky colour just to bring those changes a little bit and this up here can be slightly pinker I think that way we've got some of that pink echoing okay leave that to dry we're going to add the black and the white and then maybe get something going on so that we can see that it's water. So let's just pause again. Okay, so that is now dried. And I don't actually have black in my palette, but I do have neutral tint. 
So we will use a little bit of that because we want that coming around here and into the beak. And then we need a little bit of black on the end of those feathers there. We've got this bit going on here. And then all of this bit. And I'm going to try and just make it so that so I've got those pointy bits on the end that make it look more like feathers. Okay, so that's where our black bits are. Now we need some white, and that means bleed proof white. So let's get a little bit of bleed proof white, and I want to make the top of the legs here nice and white. And then I need my brush to be a bit drier. We, we kind of need some detail going on here because there are some white bits as well as this bit here. But that hasn't worked out how I want it. So I'm going to take my tissue and just dry that off and then I'm going to just use a damp cloth to kind of mute it a bit more and merge that white so that it's more like white patches. We've got a little bit there, haven't we? So that to me looks a little bit better. Okay. There. Now we need to do something with the water and to show that that is water. What colour are we going to use here then just to get that ripple effect going? Maybe we will go with the cobalt teal just to show that we've got little ripple effect and then with a really dry brush I'm going to get some of this going on elsewhere to give us a really dry brush to give us a, a little bit of a kind of a horizon line which isn't on the picture but I think will make all the difference like so and then I don't want those ripples to be quite as obvious so I'm just taking a damp, clean damp brush and I'm just feathering them out a little bit with the, with the tip of my brush there. Now I'm wondering whether I might want to use a little bit of coloured pencil have we got what colour are you? Let's just use 
a little bit of paper on the side here. Oh yes, that's perfect. So I've just scribbled on a little bit of paper and I've bought out a Caran d'Ache Luminance, which is anthraquinoid pink. Because I, I just feel like I want some more kind of feathery detail in, in here. And maybe even to help to cover up some of the pencil marks where I was probably a bit heavy handed but it was so that you could see there was a, a little outline there but I think I'm liking just using this little pencil In fact, I'm just toning down those legs a little bit. I think that looks a lot better. So, let's bring that up a bit closer for you. So that you can see what I've done. And I don't think it's too bad for a little postcard picture. So let's take the... The masking tape off. Very carefully. Okay. I'm, I was still using the Frisk A6 cotton watercolour postcards that I've been using all along. So just so that you know that. And there we go. I think that that makes quite a cute little, little postcard there, an animal postcard. So um, I hope that you will have a go at that. The, um, the image will be posted down below, the description from Unsplash, so that you can find that for yourselves. And look forward to another five animal postcards. I'm not sure what I'm going to do next. Uh, just have to wait and see. Okay, little quickie postcard for today. Thanks for watching everyone. Remember subscription is free so please subscribe and hit that notice bell. Thank you so much everyone. Take care now.